All right, here we are um, back doing some power wash simulator. Um, I thought maybe we could do the vintage car and the uh, clean the forest cottage. Maybe we could do that in like one together, depending on how long they take. So uh, let's get into it. Let's do it. I'm really enjoying. Uh, I'm really enjoying. Uh, this game, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's very calming, I like it a lot. Just being able to just, oh wow, got some really built-in dirt there, some rust perhaps. Uh, no, it's really fun, it's nice, it's pretty soothing, you know, you just kind of get to clean, uh, clean a car, you know, clean stuff, in this case we're cleaning a car, uh, it's a lot of fun, so, <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. This one seems like it's gonna go pretty quick, I don't think it's gonna take very long, we will see the Like every time I do say that, it does take a long time just because I like jinx myself. But uh, yeah, it's like some of this dirt, some of this rust is gonna take some actual uh, power to take uh, clean it off. But we'll focus on that in a second. Let's get the stuff that we can get. Uh, well, I'd like to pick it up. Try and get some of this stuff on the top. Uh, okay, got a whole fire station. Wow, that's gonna be a big job. Do a more thorough cleaning. Especially the sides here. And the back. Yeah. Let's dissolve and see with the canopy. It doesn't look like that's quite strong enough to get that, surprisingly. So we are gonna really have to get in there on the hubcap and stuff. Uh, the tire isn't good either. Let's, let's get this stool out of here. Get this too while we're at it. Indicator's clean. Just gonna get this light. Let's use that spinning one. I'm not really sure there's any difference, to be honest with you, but I guess the spinny one looks looks cooler, I guess. If there's any time to use soap, I think this would be the time, but uh, we've already started, so I'll just uh, finish it up. I'll just do this one by hand. But in the future, I'll probably get some sober stuff for like the rest part. Since these guys are quite uh, dirty, as you can probably tell. Got this spare tire here. Still dirty. It's been storming all night. Just loud thunder. Nothing like a uh, good old Alabama 
weather. Alright, when you think it's getting back to normal, it decides to throw you a curveball. Pretty standard, if we're honest. If we're being honest here. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be an Alabama season if it wasn't for, you know, tornadoes and uh, random thunderstorms. You ever think about people who, uh, you like, you know, canceled or whatever, um, because they like, you know, said like, uh, like a like a slur or something on uh, like a live like a live stream. But it makes you think about if they say that on a live stream, like, what are they saying? when the cameras are not on, you know? Especially if they're doing, like, videos and stuff. Um, and they, like, have time to, like, edit and stuff. Like, what are they, like, hiding from you if that's what they, like, are saying accidentally? You know, it's like, what's, what's like, a part of their normal dialect? I don't know. That's crazy. People think that John F. Like, there's actually people out there that think John F. Kennedy is alive and he did not get assassinated. That's insane to me. Some people genuinely believe that John F. Kennedy is is running the country right now. And that's, like, the most conspiracy I've ever, ever heard. Ever. Um, like, Screw everything else, like, you know, Trump and Biden and all that stuff. There are people out there that believe that John F. Kennedy and his son, JFK Jr., who died, who also has died in a plane crash, he died in a plane crash, um, they genuinely believe that they are alive. Not only are they alive, but they're running the country. Um, if that's not crazy, I don't know what it is. So, I don't know. Um, I just don't see, I don't understand how people believe in that kind of stuff. Um, I believe in a lot of stuff. I'm a pretty, pretty gullible person, but, um, not that, um, I still have some some intellect regarding that, that's for sure. Can't really see um, what's dirty on this this like trunk of the shelf. Okay, this side here, that's the trunk where oh 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 I see the shelf. I see some dirt on the shelf. I don't it's like this. Is that what it's talking about. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. You know, this reminds me. I had, um, these kids that I was, uh, camp, camp counselor over, um, and they were these twins, kind of triplets, right? Older kids, uh, I worked with the older kids, you know, 12, 13. Uh, that was older in the, in the camp that I worked at. Um, you know, they, uh, the triplets, there was always one that got in trouble, but it was funny because he was also the one that was almost never there, so it just seemed like whenever he was there, he was getting in trouble, and, um, he told us that, because he had been to, like, other summer camps and stuff, you know, like, I think he went to, like, a tennis camp or something, or... 
I don't know if Magic can't for all I know. Um, but he was talking about how he doesn't get in trouble at these other places. Um, and I told him that I was like, well, you know, we have different rules and stuff than they do. Um, maybe they're not as strict as they should be on you guys. Uh, of course, he didn't like that, but I don't know. It's made me think about it because the other two triplets were like perfectly fine. Well, I say perfectly fine. Um, one of the triplets was diabetic, um, like me, and she was really bad um, about. She would go low. She was type one. She had like the same pump as me and whatever. Like that was really cool. Like we, like. I guess bonded a little bit over that, um, but I remember I was so, I, I would get so frustrated with her because I swear she would let her blood sugar drop on purpose just so that she could get like a couple of like gummy bears or like m and I'm like, you do not need to be doing that, like that's so dangerous, like she, I remember she was at um, like a diabetic camp, like a camp that's supposed to like help kids, you know, learn about diabetes and, um, you know, kind of find friends who, who are also diabetic and stuff. And it's really cool. It's great. Um, but she was there and, excuse me, <coughs> you know, she went there and she went there and one night had a diabetic seizure because her blood sugar got so low and so I'm just like obviously I wanted to check and uh, we've checked her blood sugar like pretty const constantly because of that because um, I wasn't messing around with that um, and it was <laughs> what sucked even more was that of course um, both her parents were um, like doctors not even like, like, like they were full on doctors, not like nurse practitioners or anything like that. Like they were just full on doctors. And so, you know, I, I told them, I was like, you know, I'm diabetic as well. So, you know, I have some experience with that. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm sure you do. And I'm like, I, I do. Um, <laughs> as much as it might surprise you, I do indeed. Um, uh, I am in fact diabetic, and I've had it for a couple of years, um, and so, uh, yeah, it was a little frustrating, uh, I don't really expect someone to just, like, discredit you, just because, I mean, I, that's something that I ran into a lot at that job, though, was you ran into, um, you ran into parents who, who just wouldn't listen to a single thing you said because you weren't a parent, and so, like, immediately anything you said was, like, invalid, which is just honestly, like, super, like, annoying and, like, borderline ageist, but, like, you know, it's whatever. But I remember there was this one kid that I worked with uh, my first year at the camp. Uh, I worked with the, the fourth, like, the upcoming fourth graders, so, like, ten nine-year-olds. Um, so a little younger than that second year, but, you know, I worked with them, uh, and so, there was one kid who, like, never had anything to eat, I mean, I swear, he had, like, I mean, he would bring in, like, a bag of carrots, and, like, that would be his, like, meal, and I'm like, man, that is, it's like, are you not hungry? He says, well, I mean, yeah, but my mom doesn't pack my lunch. And so I was like, well, that's just terrible, man. Um, and so I talked to her about it. Um, to which she, of course, said, you know, you don't know anything. You're not a parent. Um, and I, so, I mean, just, I, I can't really do anything at that point. Um, so what I did was I just started going uh, to, like, Publix right before, um, right before my, my shift, like, right before work, um, when I would work and I would just buy a couple of Lunchables, 
Um, you know, not the most filling thing in the world, but I mean, definitely better than what he was getting. Um, and you know, if he wasn't there, then I would just put them in the fridge and someone would eventually use them. You know, kids forgot their stuff all the time. I'm certain, you know, one day when I'm a parent, I'll, I'll forget stuff to them. So, I mean, I'm not really judging anyone. But I was judging her because um, she just, like, she like purposefully and the thing was it's like they weren't like necessarily poor either um so i took that into consideration i was like you know maybe they don't have a lot of money you know i get that um because the, the camp itself was fairly expensive so i mean not having any money left over is not like a weird thing um Um, yeah, it's not a weird thing. It's just like, I don't know. It was just something that I kind of bothered me. Um, but, you know, what can you do? Um, I did everything that I could to try and make connections with these, these kids. Um, because I remember when I went to camps like that, um, you know, I was a larger child, and I, I was like that kid that didn't really make friends very well, and so I would always hang out with the counselors, um, and I remember some of the people, some of the other counselors would get, like, annoyed when kids would do that, um, but, you know, that was, like, our job, I mean, was to, to be there, and, help them out and a lot of those kids weren't they were coming from a rough home a rough situation and stuff like that you know uh, whether it be you know parents always working or like uh you know, i mean there's, there's a tons of reasons why a kid would be at a camp instead of like home or you know it's and it's not the parents fault necessarily it's just like you have to be aware of those situations when you're working with kids like that, you know. And so I remember that vividly um, to this day. Uh, it's something I'll always remember is working at that camp. You know, it was my first job, um, so that was always a really a great time. Um, and yeah, uh, it's okay. I liked it a lot. Uh, it doesn't really look all that great on a resume. Uh, a lot of guys, or a lot of people don't care that you um, worked at a kids camp, like, a, like as a counselor. Um, but it was still fun, so I uh, can't be too mad about it, I guess. I don't not know what door handle only is not clean. Cause I swear I got all of them. Door handle. Is that a door? I just don't. I'm not like seeing. Oh, it was that one. Wow. Also, this mud guard is like tripping me out. I do not know. Like, I guess the inside maybe. I'm trying to think. I don't normally like to use the uh, dirt thing, but I really can't even begin to find where the dirt is on this mud. And then a wing mirror. Let's try this one over here. Oh, that's this one. Just the mud guard, eh? It's little tiny little specks everywhere. I can't really get in there. I'm trying so hard. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, look at me go. Got the pink gloves on. The stool does not move around, so it does look like I'm floating for some of that. 
Okay, not bad. I think we have... We can totally do this, right? This can't be that dirty. Worst comes worst, we'll just do like half of it and go from there. I'm trying to keep these around half an hour, so nothing crazy. Um, we'll do about 10 minutes of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll just look at like the, the walls and stuff, you know. Oh, wow, that's really dirty. Um, oh, the walls, too. My goodness. Uh, let's go to the shop, maybe, and see if we can get a better power washer. 2,000. Okay. You know what? Let's do the walls. We'll do the, um, this is what we'll do. Uh, okay, that's not that dirty, actually. So that's kind of hard to see, I'm not going to lie. Um, we'll do the stone wall here first. Uh, get from there. Alright. I'm not going to use the uh, thing anymore. I just like using it for um, that first little bit so I can uh, kind of see. Am I not sure? I guess right there on the outside. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll do the outside first and then we will do uh, the rest at a time. stuff out of the way just so I'm not running over it. Running over it the entire time we're doing this job. So I just recorded a little bit of um, Blasphemous, about an hour or so of it. So I think I should be able to get a good, like, solid 45 minutes to, like, an hour out of that. I think that'll be fun. It's a lot of fun already. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it is very much like Dark Souls in the sense of uh, <laughs> it can be very unforgiving. Um, it's a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to playing more of it and uh, dying a whole lot more, <laughs> that's for sure. Here I am saying I don't like to use the thing and I'm using it like every other time. Honestly, it's a little overwhelming when you use the dirt vision. You know, you see all the orange, and you're just like, wow, this is a lot of dirt. <laughs> nice. Just methodically making our way around here. I'm trying to keep these um, videos somewhat not short necessarily, but because they're unedited, I'm kind of trying to keep the time on them down, um, just so that it's not just uh, like an hour of me cleaning. Of course, I'm certain that'd be okay to some people, but uh, most of the people don't go for that, so. Uh, not sure. I'm trying to decide what I want to do still. I know there's a lot of big jobs coming up, like the uh, fire station is supposed to be a super big one. Um, and, uh, like, that skate park look, look, looks huge too, so I don't really know how I'm going to do those necessarily. I just do a small amount of editing, nothing crazy. Like, I might, uh, you know, 
I'll speed up some parts, put it over some like relaxed, relaxing music or whatever, some nice like jazz music. I don't know. We'll have to see what I can come up with. It doesn't look too weird, does it? Okay, great. Yeah, the uh headphones kinda of squeeze my squeeze my glasses. So I'm um, uh, not really sure what's still dirty. But the post post I forgot is a part of the actual silly me. Like gate hinges, nice. Should be able to do most of the perimeter, I think. Oh yeah, we'll finish the perimeter. All right, might even do a little bit of the house too. Oh, oh my! Uh, got some scaffolding here. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. I guess the house is kind of weirdly shaped. I can't just kind of crawl around on the roof. So I'll have to use some scaffold and that'll be interesting. Let's see what this just looks like up here. Oh, it's dirty alright. My goodness. Oh no noise. To the expected. <laughs> really expected to put up falling noise in the, uh, do a power washing simulator, or fall damage, so. Not to wash the logs, do I? Can push them around. It's such a strange thing to add into this game. But why not? Definitely excited to play some Blasphemous, some more, um, I think I'm gonna be definitely gonna edit those, um, cause a lot of what I'm doing is kind of running back and just dying over and over again right now, uh, especially this is one place, uh, these spikes, I just keep, keep falling and dying, so, uh, I died there, like, a couple, like, I don't even know how many times, so, um, yeah. Well, there's that. There's the perimeter. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do this door, and then uh, that'll be it for this. This will be a nice way to end it right here. Just kind of clean it off this door to really set up this house. I'll have to uh, get in there on the finer work. I know that outsides are probably dirty. This door frame here. So let's see if I can get those. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> There's that. Maybe if I can just grab my uh, stool, I'll be able to get the top of the... There we go. Awesome. Well, uh, here we go. Just... Oh, well. Oh, didn't. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Let me just. There we go. Alright, cool. Start on this one. Got the uh, vehicle finished up. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess this is going to be it for now. So, uh, bye.